Behind me is the Great Wall of Jerusalem. Never heard of it? Let me explain. Some 2,700 years ago, the Assyrian Empire, the mightiest empire the world had ever seen up to that point in history, conquered the Kingdom of Israel, sending the 10 northern tribes off into exile. Refugees from the Kingdom of Israel begin making their way to Jerusalem, seeking a new start in the Kingdom of Judah, settling on the hill just west of the city of David, the place where Jerusalem began. Sennacherib, king of Assyria, now sets his sights on conquering the kingdom of Judah and Jerusalem, her capital city. Hezekiah, king of Judah, begins preparations for war, protecting the Gihon Spring, Jerusalem's primary water source, as well as building a massive wall surrounding the entire city, including the western hill and the city's newest inhabitants. The Bible recounts in 2 Chronicles when Hezekiah saw that Sennacherib had come intent on making war against Jerusalem, he consulted with his officers and warriors about stopping the flow of the springs outside the city, and they supported him. He acted with vigor, rebuilding the whole breached wall, raising towers on it, and building another wall outside of it. This massive wall, known in the Bible as the Broad Wall, measured some 22 feet wide, 25 feet high and two and a half miles in length. A portion of this wall, which you could see right beside me, was discovered in the 1970s by Israeli archaeologist Nachman Avigad, dated to the reign of the biblical King Hezekiah himself. This wall being a portion of the massive wall built by King Hezekiah to protect Jerusalem from the impending Assyrian invasion the Great Wall of Jerusalem. Because when you're in the place where the Bible happened, the words of the Bible come to life. For more great videos like this one, subscribe to the City of David's YouTube channel. Stay updated with all the latest content.